Hello everyone, welcome back. So, um, I just wanted to just jump into it. We're gonna do the boss fight today. Um, I kind of wanted to do it because the last time I did this level, I got zero points. No joke, I got zero experience towards my research level. And that tells me I should stop wait until I get new items and then come back because I feel like what may be happening is that I'm not triggering certain things to be able to get more points like let me just quickly go to the lab just you know show you the photo decks right now because I feel like that might actually be like the best indicator of like what's going on so, let's just go to Pokemon. Uh, let's just uh, sort by score. So, the highest one clearly is going to be Grookey, in which I basically have three Platinum Stars. And not only do I have all four pictures, but my fourth image is also a Gold Star. So, I have like 16... Yeah. I nearly have 17,000 points just in Grookey, and it's pretty good. So, what is my lowest one? Pikachu, because I only took it once. Sylveon, because Sylveon has not woken up yet. Virilion, because I'm only able to get, like, one type of photo for some reason. Because even though, like, I take a picture of it, like, when it's startled... It still does not activate the plus two, which makes me think that it must be something from a different level. Emolga. I can't get good pictures of Emolga because when it's in flight, it takes these odd, like, swooping down patterns. So I can't get good pictures of it. So I feel like I can get really good pictures if I do that. But let's talk about something that's like only appearing during the night. Caterpie. I'm getting like one star. I should be able to get a two star, three star. Pretty low. Actually, no, that's like on the on the verge of like getting a platinum. Both of those. But you you can see that where it's like Okay, so what else is during the night? Oh, I already got that as platinum. Like, it's literally just like... Pinsir? Maybe. Hoodoo? No. Like, I have like so many platinum ones now. I physically can't get more points. Unless I somehow figure out a way to like activate additional steps. So... Just to, like, elaborate on all of that, of why I've decided that I'm going to just go to the boss stage. Well, the Illumina spot. Oh my gosh. Uh, I ordered something like an hour ago and it finally is showing up. Uh, do I hear anything? No. Um, by the way, like, the voice acting is so low in this game, and it's like one of the, uh, biggest gripes about it. It was like, hey, we have voice acting in a Pokemon game. It was like, oh, cool. We made it the lowest thing in this game, and you can't change the, uh, the volumes. That's neat. So I'm gonna guess that this is like some interesting form of uh, Gigantamax. You know, like in a. Like.
I just don't know which one of these could potentially be the, uh... photo of the century, if you will. It's kind of reminding me of Jurassic Park a little bit, you know? Okay. I'm trying to figure out, like, if there's some, like, hidden thing to this. And off it goes. By the way, uh, at that final piece, I was, uh, I was hitting the B button instead of the A button, and I feel really foolish. Okay. Okay, we got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. No subject. Oh, right, because it's too far behind the tree. Okay, so I took a lot of photos. But... A one star or a two star because a one star is when it's not glowing a two star is when like all of these things are around it and I think maybe the best photo that like gets the most of it in the shot like just for me is one of the uh, one star ones. Okay. We're going to go back in and do the uh the two star one afterwards. A new discovery. Nice work. Yeah, definitely platinum. The 15,000 pose is pretty good. Instantly level 2. It's pretty good. Yeah, I get a score of 5,000 points or more. Registered the Illuma Pokemon Meganium. You res oh, you can make everything look cell shaded. Huh. Oh, by the way, now that we've got that Illuma Pokemon info, we've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think I'll be pleased to hear this. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what he has to say. Oh, the tyrant has just set in. That's not good. <laughs> you're back. Yeah, you're back. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Use it there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Who's talking? You're practically dancing. You're you were practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> oh, well, moving on. Um, there's no doubt about it. That meganium was an Illumina. Illumina Pokemon. Just like in the legends. Remember what the legend said about it again? It's been a few days. 
Didn't they supposedly take save a uh, lentil from a huge disaster or something? So the story goes, yeah. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinct patterns and glow with unusual light. Sounds like our friend. Yes, tell the letter. I'm convinced the events of those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key to opening up all of our research. Hang on, was there one more important thing you wanted to mention? That's right, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? As we had already told you, I've been preparing a, a launch. Preferred to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. Fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? Well, you know, maybe. For as touch as you should, we can be vague sometimes, Professor. I also think it's a good idea. And we way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? A team badge? Huh. Neat. Yep. Looks like you were born to wear it. Well, what are you waiting for? Adventure waits. Not to rain on your not to rain on your parade, Rita, but I need to get a couple more things ready first. Ah, come on. Just a little longer, right? I promise it will be worth the wait. Right. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Team badge. Oh, and the profile icon for the team badge. Yeah, I'm still lower. Oh, got to, um, both of them are like near 1,000 now. That's neat. Gentle Wonder. Oh wait, category I uh, received. There we go. Really? Oh yeah, that would be the highest one, because it's in the 5,000s. Yeah, I have to... So I wonder what it's actually going to... Hmm, the herb Pokemon. For some reason this makes me think that there might be secret Pokemon hidden in the Aluma spots, you know? Hmm. There. Hope you're happy.
Sorry for the pause. Um, I had like a really long yawn for some reason. Okay, now you're a full-fledged team member. I have something that will come in handy. As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Vita? Yeah. Yes, sir. Huh? But is, is it just for me or have you been getting me to do a lot? Is it just me or uh, have you been getting me to do a lot more of your work lately? Oh, well, time to explain oh, like a great assistant I am. This is a fluff fruit. They grow here in the Lotto region. They're sweet, tasty, and they make a great snack for Pokemon. They may look like regular apples, but they're way lighter and softer. What's an apple? Because, <laughs> like, there is something that's... <laughs> so, there are apples. They're in, uh... Mystery Dungeon games, but it's like, it feels weird for them to reference like actual real fruits. The problem with a Pokemon's day if you toss one out of these, let's get you some practice. By pressing the B button. Oh, hmm. So you can move around. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, I think that's all you need to know. So, I guess now we'll just wait until the professor gives us a green light to move on. Oh yeah, I got an idea. Uh, we should try testing out the fluff fruit and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there will be all kinds of ways to use it. Fair to explain I see. Thanks, Rita. I've got one more thing to tell you about for now. I thought it'd be handy for a quick way to share what we've seen and learned in the field. You familiar with Lens Len Talk? It rings a bell. It's a communication tool folks here in Lentil use. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field and you could send a photo and description over Len Talk. Uh, I can use it to send things I notice on the monitor too. That sounds super fun. Look at the Lentalk messages at the top right of the screen at the research camp elsewhere. You ought to help. There's a Pokemon that sleeps in this area. It would show itself if there were another Pokemon nearby. Where's it going? Thanks, Internet. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so it looks like certain photos get us requests. We're gonna go through these in a bit. Gonna take a uh... Watch Kruki in the nature every now and then. It does something that I think you'll get a kick out of it. Oh, wait! Okay, 
So this is how I get um four stars. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Cool. Sorry, yawning hard again. Um. Yeah, we're gonna look over these again. Um. Eh, 20, 20 minutes is a long enough episode. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Goodbye.